kind of a rock. I really like these. what the laundry looks like so far. I need to buy little baskets to make this look a little cuter. I also have an additional shelf. Once I'm done organizing it, uh, I'll determine like where the shelves are gonna go, how high they need to be and stuff. Put my mat up there because I work out in this room. So I need to have like easy access to that. We put the rack, you guys saw Roger installed this rack. This is for all of the clothes that I air dry. I air dry like 90% of my clothes, so I really needed some kind of a rack. So I took out a bunch of clothes, but I had so much clothes up there air drying and it works perfectly. Uh, this is the Alex Shores that I had previously. I have nowhere else to put this, so this had to be part of like the organization. This has to stay there it fits perfectly there so that's where i'm storing it but back here so all this clothes is actually dry already but let me just move it out of the way so we installed the little clip thing for the brooms and the mops and stuff i have to uh, find the piece to put this on the wall we'll probably put it like right here so it's easy access our vacuum and I'm cleaning the filter that's why it doesn't have this and we put this little one over here and it's actually charging because we have an outlet back here so yeah it's not the cutest thing in the world but it works for now you know in the future uh, when we move and I have like a bigger space I'll fully deck out my laundry room but for now we just wanted something simple so these are from ikea this is the billy bookcase this is actually the same system that i have in my closet i just have a lot more shelves and it fits perfectly there and i do have an extra shelf back here or two i don't know but yeah so i'm gonna try to find like baskets uh to try to make this cuter but it works so well and i actually look forward to doing laundry now because we have some kind of organization here so yeah, and everything fits perfectly. I can close everything and you can't even tell it's there. Yeah, and then we might get a better washer dryer, but I did measure everything out so that if we do upgrade it and get a front load, uh, it fits there perfectly. So yeah, and this is great because if we need to move it out of here for whatever reason, if we need to get um, some work done or switch out the washer dryer, we can because it's not attached to anything oh and this rack is also from ikea it's just a regular uh, rack super inexpensive hangers are also from ikea up to the new gym finally and did my nails I did like a olive green 
French tip situation. I don't know if you guys can see it. Just like a clear coat. Nobody cares. Now I'm gonna go home and switch cars because I'm gonna go run some errands with Roger. I haven't really been vlogging because I haven't really done much this week. I've just been waiting for a couple of new pieces for my filming setup and some other things that I need in order to film the videos that I have planned for the week. So yeah. Oh my god, there's a dead possum. I also injured my neck slash back again sleeping so couldn't really move my neck for the past like three days. Hopefully you guys can hear me because my AC is on full blast and I'm so sorry but I'm not turning my air conditioning off. You're out of your mind if you think I'm going to do that. This is what we do for fun now. <laughs> Come to Lowe's with no direction, no need to buy anything, we just <laughs> go through every aisle like if we're grocery shopping. Because it beats being home, right? Mill work, yeah. We did pick up some things that we needed, but still. Okay, so I just got these jeans in the mail. Hold on. These are the Levi's dad jeans and they're a lot more wide leg than the rib cage the back is very nice it's like tight on the butt area but a little loose on the thighs which is usually where my problem is at usually jeans are just way too tight on my thighs but i think these are good the only thing that i'm not sure about is the length i don't know if i should get the long version so that they're just like longer or keep this length i mean this is the perfect length but i kind of wanted something a little longer but really like these dare i say even more than the rib cage jeans they're just a more relaxed fit i heard that they do stretch throughout the day so i just tried them on right now so they're a little tight hopefully they stretch even more because I've been into like the baggier look lately. But yeah, I got my regular size. Some people suggested sizing down. Uh, that wouldn't have worked for me. So yeah, I really like them. I got them in the black and just like a true blue color. Because the ones that I have in this color, I don't really love the fit of it. I might put more jeans up on Poshmark now that I have these. Because I really, really like the fit of them. So yeah, we'll see how they wear. I'm not gonna put them on today because I'm gonna do some work in the backyard, but I'll let you guys know once I wear them like throughout the day and stuff, how it wears. I think the length is fine. my dishes and I see somebody picking up trash in my neighborhood and he has a full-on parrot on his shoulder and I didn't have my camera on me couldn't get to my phone in time but hopefully he comes back because I can't make this stuff up this is my neighborhood guys
finished shooting these PJs, which Cozy Earth was kind enough to send me, but I kid you not, guys, I've talked about... Let me just pick this up for a second. So I've talked about how much I love the Nordstrom lingerie pajamas. They're super soft. They're like that jersey material, very lightweight. Well, these are just like the Nordstrom lingerie PJs, but they're a little thinner, I think, and they're even softer. I don't know how they're softer than those PJs because those PJs are super soft, but these are even softer. So they're very breathable, lightweight, and soft. It feels like I'm naked right now. This is not sponsored. I have a code, which is not an affiliate code. You guys can get 50% off. Yes, 50% off. I will put it somewhere on the screen and in the description. I, I'm gonna go buy them in like every color. I'm so incredibly picky when it comes to PJs, but these are seriously perfection. Like, I'm obsessed. The design is also very pretty and yeah, I didn't think I could like anything more than the Nordstrom lingerie PJs, but these I love. Another thing that I really love is the shorts are a little longer than the Nordstrom lingerie ones and they have pockets. Classic Ford. Looks like it's about in the 40s. What is that? A tow truck? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cute. So now what? Now we keep, keep on rolling. Can you even get out there? Keep on rolling. bird looks like it's been through hell what's on your head little guy <laughs> some people have beach views some people have mountain views some people have street views from their window garden views backyard views pool views i've got bird views honestly i don't mind it this overhead lighting is horrendous, but so whenever I have any kind of hyperpigmentation, like whenever I get a really bad breakout and it takes forever to heal because I don't really get pimples too often, but when I get them, it's like those very annoying, painful ones and they leave a mark always. So I'm dealing with this mark right here. So, in order to fade it, I've been using the Is Clinical Pro Heal Serum. This stuff is so good for hyperpigmentation, amongst a bunch of other things. I talked about it in my skincare routine, but yeah, I just go in with a couple of drops. Um... It also makes your skin look like porcelain the next day. I don't know exactly why, but this stuff is just so good. Bring this sucker down to your neck. And this stuff is expensive. So I don't I don't really use it unless I have like hyperpigmentation. I've been using it now more often because I'm trying to get rid of this mark, but I do not use that thing very frequently if I don't need to. So today we're gonna do a mask. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the Summer Fridays 
mask and I actually use this uh, as a moisturizer so I leave it on but this is my current favorite mask it is so good also talked about it in my skincare routine but yeah I wanted to tell you guys what I've been doing for hyperpigmentation because if you're anything like me and vitamin C serums just don't really work for you they irritate your skin a little bit using something like this at night with a nice soothing or very moisturizing mask or moisturizer on top of it is what I've been doing lately and it has been working for me. So, yes, just wanted to share. There's a reason why this mask is like a cult favorite, guys. It's so freaking good. Put that little sucker on the back of my hands. And then for eye cream at night, I usually use the Bobbi Brown Eye Repair Cream or the La Prairie one, which I'm just not going to talk about on social media anymore because people were very upset about the price of that thing. And honestly, for a good reason, it's expensive. But I just wanted to be honest and talk about like the stuff that I use. So that's why I talked about such an expensive freaking eye cream even though i gave like seven disclaimers people still brought it up so yeah that's it for my skincare routine for tonight by the way if you guys are wondering like what dexter does when it's just me and him in the house and i'm in the bathroom it gets too hot in here so he just chills by the door so yeah that's my skincare routine for tonight it changes from night to night you guys can watch my skincare routine to see how i break it down throughout the week but yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here let me know if you guys prefer like longer vlogs uh like bi-weekly or if you prefer shorter vlogs on a weekly basis i can't promise that i'm gonna do it every single week but this vlog was in a span of like seven or eight days which i normally don't do so that's why it's a little bit shorter but yeah i will catch you guys in my next video